It saddens me that people are turning to different kinds of stones and and other kinds of magic to heal them. But it also lets me know how much people are in need of healing. That's why they're willing to do whatever it is possible to be healed. And here I want to tell you about the God, the creator of those stones, the creator of you, the creator of all that is able to heal and that can heal. Will you give him a chance? This is an opportunity for you. Will you receive it? Will you not reject it? Will you just hear me out? If you're turning to stones to receive healing, I know it must have hurt. It's hurting. You're suffering. You're in pain. So will you hear me out today? Because there is a God that loves you. There is a God that wants to heal you. There is a God that got beaten because of you. He wants to heal you today, right now, as I speak in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for those of you who are watching. Thank you, Lord, for every single person under my voice. Thank you, Lord, that all their pain, suffering, as you receive Jesus, as you receive his healing, receive it now. I'm praying for his supernatural healing power. It is supernatural for us, but it is not for God because it is who he is. He's divine. He is able to heal anything. He's able to make all things new. So right now, as you listen to my voice, as you hear my voice, God is healing you. God is repairing your back right now. I'm seeing some of you having back issues, having vertebrae being broken and compressed. I repair them in the name of Jesus. I restore them in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, that these vertebrae that are missing, these tendons that are missing, these parts that are lacking will grow back right now in the name of Jesus, that you will feel the power, the heat right now, like electricity coming up your back in the name of Jesus. If you heard that prayer and you felt that heat, you felt that electricity, make sure you comment, make sure you comment and receive Receive this right now in the name of Jesus and let us know. Receive Jesus. Receive him right now in the name of Jesus. Receive his power. Receive his healing in the name of Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you. And I'm seeing spinal cord being repaired, restored. The neck issues that has been causing neck pain issues being restored right now in the name of Jesus. Yes, you. I'm looking at you. You, at the sound of my voice, you can feel it. You can hear your neck crackling in the name of Jesus. God's healing power is upon your neck right now in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing somebody with intestinal issues, small intestinal issues. God is cleaning out your guts right now. Thank you, Jesus. All the toxins are removed in the name of Jesus. You've been having stomach issues for months and some of you have been for years and not knowing you've been going to specialists to, to specialists and they have not even figured out what is wrong with you and God is healing it right now God is removing the toxin out of your intestines in the name of Jesus receive his healing right now receive it and if you don't know this Jesus if you don't know receive him receive him all you have to do is thank you jesus for healing me you surely are the god the god who came down and died for me died for all my sins please forgive me be my lord and savior in the name of jesus brothers and sisters you are saved you are whole and you are healed in the name of jesus 
even as I'm speaking, I'm hearing God saying, your heart. There are others with heart issues physical but also emotional heart issues that God is mending right now in the name of Jesus. God is mending just because you're watching me on the screen God does not limit God from healing you brothers and sisters. It does not limit him. He has no limitation in the name of Jesus. He is adjusting your heart. He's adjusting your valves. He's adjusting your, your pumping speed in the name of Jesus. He's adjusting the pain that you've been feeling in your heart in the name of Jesus. I thank you, God, for your mighty healing upon my brothers and sisters. I thank you, God, for healing upon your people in the name of Jesus. I see water rushing in through your mouth. There has been some of you that have been experiencing dehydration, dehydration that has caused a multitude of issues um, that you don't even realize that's caused by the lack of, of water, of nutrients in your body. And I see God pouring it down in you. He's pouring his spirit in you in the name of Jesus through your mouth and hydrating every part of your body that's causing you headaches it's causing you skin issues. It's even causing cancer in the name of Jesus. We're rebuking that right now. Thank you, Jesus, that you're hydrating. You're healing the body right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Thank you. Thank you, God. I want you to take a moment and receive. If any of this resonate with you, if any of this you felt, make sure you come and let us know and praise the Jesus, the God Almighty that heals so that others may be healed in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord, oh God. Thank you, Lord, oh God Almighty, in the name of Jesus. We do not serve a weak God. We serve a powerful and almighty God in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. We serve an almighty God that loves you and that cares for you in the name of Jesus. He loves you and cares for you and he wants to see you healed in the name of Jesus. I'm hearing 30 years. Some of you have been suffering for 30 years. 30 years. 30 years is nothing for God. He does not live in time. It is nothing, brothers and sisters. So He surely can heal that that has afflicted you for 30 years in the name of Jesus. You are healed. Receive it. You are whole. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Do you feel his peace upon you? Do you feel his presence upon you? Do you feel the loving father reaching out to you? Do you feel, can you feel him? There is always hope. There is always hope in Jesus. Nothing can take that hope away from you you always have hope you need to cling on to that hope in the name of jesus hope deferred makes the heart sick brothers and sisters so grab on to the hope jesus is your hope not this world not anything else but his jesus your heart heart has been sick because you lost the hope. I'm praying that God will restore your hope right now in the name of Jesus. That you will feel his hope welled up in you in the name of Jesus. That you will grab onto the hope even if it's small. That it may grow. It may grow and overflow. Let your cup runneth over with hope. Oh, 
brothers and sisters, if this has helped you, please share. Share this video so that others may be helped. Like and comment and subscribe so that many others will see this as well. This world is in need of healing. They're in need of healing desperately. That they're turning to stones when they need to know the truth that it is our God that heals and he's able to heal. And this world is in need of hope. They need to hear about Jesus that came down and died for them. Brothers and sisters, God bless you. Thank you.